Three best ways to invest in your 20s. Hi, welcome to Mo's channel. If you are in your 20s and are just like me thinking where you can invest your money so you can get some good returns and start enjoying life early on, then this video is for you. I'll present to you some tips on how you can invest your money. So let's get started. Number one, invest in assets first and purchase luxury second. I don't know how many of you all have read Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, but I did mention it on one of my videos titled Books That Change Your Life. Don't worry, the link for the video will be on the top right section of the screen, so make sure to watch it from there. Today, most of my investments are based on that book. I believe in investing and purchasing assets. Now, what is an asset you might ask? An asset can be a property, a stock, a side business, anything that puts money in your pocket every month as compared to a liability that takes money from your pocket. For example, if I want to purchase a new car, I would first invest that money in an asset, in something that puts money in my pocket. And that asset will help me purchase the car 10 times if in the future if I want to. That asset can also help me in giving me money for maintenance, for insurance, for any accident that happens. So I'm using the money for also future expenses that can occur after purchasing the car. In this manner, I'm not sacrificing the money right away. But this money, I'm using it to purchase an asset that will help me purchase the car. And the best part, the asset will keep on making me money even after I purchase the car. So it's a win-win situation all the way. So by building assets first and then buying luxuries second, it helps me to spend money and make my life more enjoyable and entertaining. It's basically money working for me. This really proves the point that money is a good servant but a very bad master. Number two, use a 50, 30, 20 budget rule. So this is a popular way of budgeting. But since I like to modify things, I've used this rule in a different way. When I receive any income, I divide it up into three parts. The first 50% goes into needs and wants. The second 30% goes into investments. And the remaining 20% goes into savings. Now, let's talk about, about the first 50%. Needs could be anything ranging from paying rent, making mortgage payments, car payment, groceries, anything. The needs category does not include the following, but since I modified this, I can also include going out for coffee, dining with friends, and also perhaps watching Netflix to add to the list of bills. The second 30% goes towards investments. Now many of us see investments as risky. I have surpassed that fear and I rather invest 30% of my income into various investment vehicles such as building a business, making YouTube video like this one, investing it into stocks and commodities, perhaps also investing it into a property and selling products and services. And the last 20% of my income, I try to allocate it towards savings. This includes putting money in an emergency fund such as a bank savings account. I would say to have at least three months of emergency savings in hand in case you lose a job, make a bad investment or an unforeseen event occurs. Even though we are young at this age, but also do focus on retirement and meeting other financial goals. Number three, make risk your friend and start early. Investing just like anything in life benefits from an early start. In the world of investments, slow and steady are considered good. When you start saving and investing early on, your money will have more time to grow. Time allows you to make more risks and also mistakes if, if you make so. Those people who invest late are naturally more cautious because of the responsibilities that they have. The benefits from the power of compound interest is great. Your investment earns income and that income earns more income. So take my advice. The sooner you start, the better your chances at building wealth in the long term. 
This is the same investment strategy that Warren Buffett used to build his wealth. Let's take a case study over here by illustrating two people. James and Tom were friends who grew up together. They both knew that they needed to start thinking about the future. At age 19, James decided to invest $2,000 every year for eight years. He picked investment funds that averaged a 12% interest rate. Then at age 26, James stopped putting money into his investments. So he put a total of $16,000 into his investment funds. Now, Tom didn't start investing until age 27. Just like James, he put $2,000 into his investment funds every year until he turned 65. He got the same 12% interest rate as James, but he invested 23 more years than James did. So Tom invested a total of $78,000 over 39 years. When both James and Tom turned 65, they decided to compare their investment accounts. Who do you think had more? James with his total of $16,000 invested over 8 years, or Tom who invested $78,000 over 39 years? Believe it or not, James came out ahead, $700,000 ahead. Tom had a total of $1,532,166, while James had a total of $2,288,996. How did he do it? Starting early is the key. He put in less money but started eight years earlier. That's compound interest for you. It turned $16,000 into almost $2.3 million. Now, since I'm in my, my 20s, I would recommend this investment portfolio for all. Invest 30% of your income in direct stocks, preferably blue chip companies. Blue chip companies are large established companies that have a long history of sound financial performance. They usually have good reputation and are, are the leaders of the industry. Put about 40% of your money in portfolio stocks such as mutual funds. These are generally the high risk, high return stocks. But over a period of time, say 10 to 15 years, you'll get some great returns on your investment because of the high risk you are willing to take. Put the next 20% in gold bonds. Gold, as you know, is a stable asset that grows gradually. There aren't many fluctuations and the best way to invest in gold is through gold bond. Invest digitally through various apps such as Upstocks, Grow and other similar investment apps. And finally, I would say invest the remaining 10% of your income in cryptocurrency. Keep in mind that Bitcoin is volatile, but for the long term, it can really prove to be a good investment. I made an early video about Bitcoin. At the time I made that video, price of Bitcoin was $23,000. Today it is $55,500 US dollars. So you can see the potential of investing in Bitcoin. I've also attached a link to a website where you can calculate how much money you need to make until you retire. You can decide to retire when you are in your 40s, 50s, whatever age you have set for yourself, put in the numbers in the calculator and see for yourself. Remember to also factor in inflation when you're using this calculator as prices will not be the same in the future. As the popular saying goes, the best time to start was yesterday, the next best time is now. If you've watched the video till the end, it means you're serious about your life and you want change to happen and you've come to the right place to seek knowledge and guidance. So let's grow together. Thank you for watching again and do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more of such content. See you in the next video.